See, now that pisses me off. First of all, since the Demir, we have more than 400 plaintiffs, and let's be honest, we all know that there are more out there. They might not be the most sophisticated people, but... They do know how to divide, and 20 million each shit. We need to talk. You got a lot of nerve coming down here, John. What if you were followed? Don't worry. I covered my tracks. I, I know things look fucked up. Like bad, but I can make up with it. Well, I let you fuck it up like last time? It wasn't my fault. I trusted some guys and I shouldn't have. Those ass clowns fucked it up. Yeah, you did a hell of a job. You killed a kid, barely bury the body. Some agent you are. <laughs> you wanted me to draw Marcus out? That's what I did. Yeah, and left a trail of bodies behind you. You're sloppy had a target on your back ever since you left the CIA. You're just a dead man walking. Before you walk in here with another lame-ass offer, I want you to think really hard about what your spine is worth to you, Mr. Walker. Or what someone would, uh, pay for you. Look. He was the one poking his head around where he shouldn't have. Yeah, had to be done, right? So what now? We finished what we started. Before you walk in here, I don't call you death for nothing, right? Ass offer, I want you to think really hard about what your spine is worth to you, Mr. Walker. Or what some money you would uh, pay for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. I can't thank you enough for helping me to pick this out for my husband. And you are welcome. You know, I think it's important that a husband look just as good as his wife. And I think that he is going to be really happy with what you chose for him. Yeah. Thank you so I think much. Thank you, Will. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. suit and my friend told me about this place. It's a really nice place you have here. Thank you, I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, so, so tell me, what happened with you? I mean, a guy with big dreams and then he just leaves school all of a sudden? Marcus, did I say something wrong? Uh, no, no, it's, it's all right. Um, you know, some of the choices I made were bad. You know, I, I just wasn't ready to show my face after what I did. You know, it's something I don't feel comfortable talking about even, even today. Is it about Damien? You know, everyone was quick to judge him. I mean, I, I know I screwed up getting caught up with him. 
But he had his reasons, you know? He just needed someone who cared about him to, to point him in the right direction. And I mean, I tried. That's the Marcus that I came to know. Kind-hearted. <laughs> uh, I don't know about all that, you know, but, you know, I just wish things went better. Um, you know what, enough about me. Tell me, how, how, how are you doing? I'm good, I, I still live around here. I'm in the fashion industry. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's good. Seen anyone lately? No, not since you. I never met a guy as sweet as you, and I work long hours anyway, so. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Sorry about not letting you know. Don't be. I'm just happy to see you again. True. True. Um, well, when you look at the time. <laughs> Um, it was nice seeing you. It was really good to see you too. You know what? Um, you, you wanted to check a suit for your brother. That's why you came in. Yeah, it, I'll just, I'll bring him back some other time to try things on. Okay, sure. It's really good to see you. It was great to see you. I hope to see you again soon. What is it, Damien? Why didn't you tell her? Tell her what? That you were on drugs and you dragged me into this shit? You can't keep doing this to yourself. She was your empathy. I'm listening to a dead man and I'm losing my mind and I'm having a conversation with death and you're not even real. He's saying that to yourself, but as long as you open that lock, then you'll be able to live at peace. What are, you, what are you even talking about? The park we used to go to. You'll find it there. Find what? Where are these new recruits? Well, it's not your panties in a bunch. Excuse me? All right, if you guys are done chatting, we'll get down to business. Dawson? It's good to meet you. I'm Carver. I've got a proposition for you. What do you got in mind? your studies. Come on, Lucas. I thought we decided we're not to talk about it. <laughs> you know I'm your big bro. It's my job to know. It's good. I just don't get why you didn't want me to be like you guys. Look, man. You know this shit's not worth it. You can achieve way more than we ever have. And you'd be a great journalist. You really think so? And I know it. And I believe in you. Huh. You make it sound like you're forced to make me feel good. Man, knock it off. <laughs> Shoot. You know I love you. I know. Thanks, bro.
We're closed. Even for an old friend? Carver. But you're, you're supposed to be. Dead? No. Oh, but I heard that death came for your little stepbrother though, right? Wait, they call me death. I guess that was me. You son of a bitch. I, 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 I wouldn't do that. So you threatening me in my own shop? You better believe it. No, that's OK. You ain't going to do nothing. You know why? Because I got your girl. Oh, that's right. Pretty little thing, great ass in leather pants, beautiful eyes. I bet she's the type of girl that matches her panties to her bra. Probably leopard print, like that little cardigan she's wearing. Alice, right? Where is she? I don't owe you shit. You owe me two and a half million dollars. When I mess with my brother, people don't end up in a good place. When I mess with my family. Yeah, like that lousy dead brother of yours. Hey, you better watch that silly little mouth of yours. I'm not gonna like where your tongue ends up. Two and a half million dollars tonight, plus interest. Or I gain more interest in your girl. We know where to find you. What the fuck, man? Me and Victor, we've been looking for you for years, and all of a sudden you just show up out of nowhere? I know. Also, we'd run into you. You had beef with him a while back? Yeah, but well, what are you doing, Fowler? I was tracking that agent. Found out he worked with Carver. What? Yeah, he wanted to draw you out. That's when uh, Ethan got in the way. Apparently, he thinks you have something he wants. I'm missing something? Damien said something earlier, and it didn't make sense until like right now. I need you to go find a briefcase. It's next to two Columbia Park. It's underneath a fence. It's very important that you find this briefcase. You got some damn karaoke in here? Apparently. Set this one out, all right? You've already been shot. I don't want you involved in this. I don't care. They got your girl. They came after me, too. I want in, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Why you choose this place for a base of operation? Perfect place to do their job. Marcus, you ready? Absolutely. You sure the agent's here? Yeah, you guys check this side. I'll cover this end. Chase, be careful. You too. Well, well, well. Marcus. I'm surprised you came. Where is she? Hey, that's no way to talk to an old friend. Where's Damien? I took his place. Well, that makes an easy target. 
All right. Guns down. Let's settle this like gentlemen. You got it. Someone still has some anger issues. You ain't seen shit yet. How long are you gonna point that thing at me? <laughs> as long as I want to. Bitch, move it. You and I both know that you're not man-